I have here with me the world's most famous pens, BIC, ballpoint pens. Now the company that makes these pens claims that they can write for two kilometers. Now I can't simply just take their word for this, so in this video I am going to test that. I will write with one of these pens until it is completely finished. Let's go! So in order to do this test, I had to come up with a smart way of doing it, a way that uh, would be the simplest way of doing it, and so I don't want to overcomplicate it, and so what I've done is I've got these A4 pieces of paper which I have marked over here to here, and I've measured that that is 27 centimeters. I've calculated how many 27 centimeters fit into two kilometers, and therefore I have exactly as much as I think I need right here. So, either I run out of paper and get more paper, but at the end of the day, the pen I'm using must finish. Now, enough talking, let's get this done! I think I'm going to use the blue one. So, before I start, basically, I'm gonna write from there to there and back again and back again and back again, back and forth without lifting the pen off the page. That way I will do this in the least amount of time possible. But after I have gone a hundred times over these 27 centimeters, basically I will have written for 2,700 centimeters, which is 27 meters. So basically I will have written 27 meters on this one page. Can you believe it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jesus Christ, this is gonna <laughs> this is this is gonna take forever. Let's keep going. Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about it's moved about five millimeters i don't know if you can see that but it's moved so Let's keep going <laughs> Moments later. Quick update. So I have gone through 30 papers and just to show you where the pen stands right now. So I made a mark on it somewhere there next to that dot over there and it's moved all the way. Uh, and I think that's, that's about more than half, a little more than half. Let's keep going. So it's moving much faster than I thought. I'm not sure if it's gonna get to two kilometers, but Let's find out. Let's keep going. Two, three. So I 
have observed that the pen is starting to thin out and uh, it doesn't look like it's moved by much, just a little bit, but it actually has because when I look at it in the light, I can see that the ink is hollow. And um, so basically I might be moving faster than the ink is, like I'm writing too fast. Maybe that's why it's hollowing out and it's not going down enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in this jar uh, this way up with the, the ballpoint facing downwards so that the gravity can just pull the ink down and then I will pick it up as soon as it has done that. A little longer than a few minutes later. So after letting the pen rest a little standing up, this is where we stand now. The ink has gone down a little bit and we are almost done. Let's keep going. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look, it's done. It's done. So now I'm going to count these papers after all that. In conclusion, the pen is done. I've counted the pages. We've done 57 pages. So 57 pages multiplied by 27 meters equals uh, 1,539 meters, which if rounded off is 1.5 kilometers. So the pen doesn't go for two kilometers. It goes for 1.5, just a little short there. I would have liked to have tested this and found that it did, but it didn't. So, hey, what can I say? It is what it is. Um, yeah, this experiment of mine is not so accurate. I won't claim that these lines here are exactly perfect, but it's a whole half a kilometer off and my room for error, give or take, is, is not that much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification button. I've always wanted to say that. Thank you so much.